time for pie. Did somebody say pie? It's a wonderful day for pie. You can ask all the birds in the sky. And they'll tell you real sweet with a musical tweet. It's a wonderful day for pie. For pie. For pie. Dude, where have you been? I've been looking all over the place for you. I mean, the, I think the computer's down. I don't know what's going on, but I mean... Dude, I was at track practice. You know we have track every day after school. Why? What's up? Pie. What, what's up with pie? I keep hearing about like March 14th. Pi Day, uh, you know, 3, 14, I have no idea. I mean, you've been here for like, what, like 10 years at this school? I mean, this is my first year. C can you help me out? I don't know what's going on. You want to know about Pi? I can tell you about Pi. Let's step up to the chalkboard. So you want to know about Pi, Mr. Binkley? Let me tell you about Pi. First of all, Pi, although it is credited with Archimedes, one of the Greek mathematicians, as first studying Pi in depth, Origins of Pi actually go back as far as the ancient pyramids of Egypt. Now, Pi has to do with circles. Dude, isn't Pi something you eat, you know, for dessert? Hello, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I love Pi. I mean, I like to eat Pi. I, didn't, I don't know what you're talking about. And if you had a circle like this, a line that is drawn through the center of the circle is known as the diameter. The distance around the outside of a circle is known as the circumference. And what Archimedes discovered is that the distance around the outside of a circle is exactly 3.14 times longer than its diameter. Are you sure, <laughs> Mr. Bender? Now, pi actually has a lot of digits to it. It goes way beyond 3.14. But, Mr. Bender, what do you call a decimal that goes on and doesn't stop? Well, it's actually not even a rational number. It's called an irrational number. The digits of pi go on and on and on endlessly, and they never repeat. What? I don't get it. I, this doesn't make sense at all. Now, a lot of math geeks recognize and they memorize a lot of those digits of pi, and they know many, many, many digits. As far as I know, it goes 3.14159.26, and that's as far as I know. Wow. I'm I not think, a math geek. I think you're a math geek, Mr. Binkley. I'm not Binder. a math geek, Mr. Binkley. <laughs> Anyways, let me continue. You're giving me this look like you don't believe any of this. I have no idea what you're talking about. I well, mean, trust me. What's I, going on? I speak the truth. So, one more time. The distance around the outside of a circle is exactly pi, and the symbol for pi looks like that, 3.14 approximately. So that's an approximation. That's um, not as many digits as pi. Are you kidding me? That's it? I am not kidding you, Mr. Binkley. So every circle is, the circumference is 3.14 times longer than a circle's diameter. So how do I find a circumference, or what is a circumference, what do I do? Well, let's say you have a circle, and let's say that this diameter is 6 inches. And you want to know the circumference of the circle. Now the formula would be C equals pi times the diameter. So you just take 3.14 and multiply it by 6, and that'll tell you what the circumference of the circle is. Dude, slow down. This is way over my head. Area inside the circle. There's a formula for that, too, that also uses the concept of pi. And the formula would be, you first take pi times the radius squared. So, now, of course, the radius is exactly one half of the diameter, which makes the radius of this circle 3. And according to the order of operations, because you have to do exponents first, you would take the radius of 3, you would square it, which would be 9, and then wait, you multiply that. Wait, 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 why wouldn't you take 3 Mr. times 2? Binkley. Why wouldn't you do 3 times 2, Mr. Bender, and get 6? <laughs> exponents don't mean to multiply by the exponent. It means to multiply the base, which is the radius in this case, oh. itself this many times. Oh, oh man, you are such a math geek. I thought you taught this in second chapter this year. I don't remember it. Mr. Binkley. So, you're just not buying any of this, are you? I don't buy one thing of right, this, listen, Mr. Binkley. I'm going to just summarize. All right, the distance around the outside of a circle is called the circumference. It is exactly pi, or we're going to use 3.14 times longer than a circle's diameter. And this is a formula to find a circle's circumference. 
If you know the radius, you would simply say c equals 2 times pi times the radius. Of course, the d and the 2 times the r here are exactly the same thing, which makes both formulas really the same. And if you need to know the area of a circle, you take pi, multiply it by the radius squared, and make sure you square the radius first before multiplying by pi. Any more questions, Mr. Binkley? I think you're just pulling my leg. I don't believe any of this, Mr. Bender. All right, Mr. Binkley. I have been pulling your leg. I'm going to tell you the truth now about pie. It is about food. It is about pie. Boysenberry, blueberry, coconut cream, chocolate cream, you name it. Pie is good. I love pie. All that other stuff I told you, not true. Greek, Egypt, <laughs> you fell for that, didn't you? All right, now I'm going to tell you the truth. Are you ready? I knew you were kidding me, Mr. Bender. You, you try and do this stuff where you joke around, joke, 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 Mr. Bender, ha, ha, ha. Not funny at all, okay? I mean, what's the truth? What is the truth? All right, Mr. Binkley, do you want to know the truth about pie? Yeah, I do. All right. This is going to be a wonderful surprise to you. You are going to love it. So, I'm waiting. Okay, you got to close your eyes for this. Why? Close your eyes. <sighs> Fine. Please don't take long. I mean, what's what's the truth? This is pie day, Mr. Binkley. Oh my gosh! I... Oh, it tastes so good. Isn't that good? Hmm. Happy pie day, Mr. B. Oh, thanks, Mr. Binkley. <laughs> so that's what pie is all about. Awesome. It's a wonderful day for pie, and it smells a lot better than I. <laughs> Everyone in the house, and this Adam West mouse, the bees making honey, this Tom Tucker bunny, we all sing with glee, cause we all agree it's a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh.